representing inequalities. You need your foldable for this, so go ahead and grab your foldable, and we're going to start with greater than. The first thing I'm going to ask you to do is to draw a line across the bottom half of this little flap to give yourself some room at the bottom for some examples. So before we get to the examples, let's look at some words that indicate greater than in a word problem. So over indicates greater than, obviously greater than means greater than, older more than, taller, and larger than are some examples of words that indicate a greater than inequality. Obviously, these are not all the words you'll ever see, but as we find them as we work, we'll add them to our list. So when you represent an inequality on a number line for greater than, you're going to put an open dot on the number and then draw an arrow to the right all the way up to the end of your number line. So this is what a greater than solution would look like on a number line. Let's try it with an actual problem. So we have y is greater than negative 2. So we'll draw our number line. So y is greater than negative 2. We'll find the negative 2 on the number line and we'll put an open circle around the negative 2. I'll do it with purple instead. There we go. And then we're going to draw an arrow all the way to the right of that open dot. Now let's try less than. So again, go ahead and draw a line for some examples. And let's talk about words that indicate less than in a word problem. Obviously, less than will indicate less than, and so will fewer than. We could have smaller than, younger, under, and shorter. So those are just a few examples. Now, when you graph a less than inequality on the number line, you'll find your number and you'll put an open dot around it. And then instead of drawing the arrow to the right, you're going to draw the arrow to the left of the open dot. So let's see what this looks like on a number line with an actual problem. So we have B is less than 15.2. So I have drawn and numbered a number line, and because B is less than 15.2, we're going to find 15.2 on the number line, and we're going to draw an open circle around it. And then everything that is less than 15.2 is to the left of 15.2. So we're going to draw our arrow to the left of that dot, and that is how we graph a less than inequality. Now on to greater than or equal to. Again, first thing, draw that line for our example space down at the bottom. And then let's look at words that indicate greater than or equal to in a problem. So one thing we might see is at least. That means greater than or equal to. We could see a minimum of. And no less than all indicate greater than or equal to. So on a number line, when we're representing the solution to a greater than or equal to inequality, we're going to draw a closed dot. So we'll close it in. Okay? And then greater than means to the right of. So we're going to draw an arrow to the right of the closed dot. Let's see what this looks like with an actual inequality. So we have D is greater than or equal to 70. Now here I chose to label my number line by counting by tens, um, and that's just a personal choice. We don't have to count by tens on greater than or equal to problems. That's just what I chose to do. So because it says greater than or equal to, that means we do include 70. So we're going to draw a closed dot on the 70, 
And then, and, oh, I want to do that in green. Let's do it in green. Okay, and then greater than is everything to the right of the 70. So that is how it will look on a number line. And finally, we have the less than or equal to, and again, draw that line so we have some space for the example problem in the bottom. And we need to figure out words that indicate less than or equal to for an inequality. Those words would include no more than, a maximum of, and at most. So on a number line, because it is less than or equal to, we're going to do a solid dot because it will include the number that the dot lands on. And then less than is anything to the left of the dot, so we'll draw our arrow to the left of the dot. Let's look at this with an actual inequality. So we have C is less than or equal to 42. So I've drawn and numbered my number line, and because it is less than or equal to, that means it will include the 42. So we're going to do a closed dot, and then anything that is less than 42 is to the left of 42. So we're going to draw an arrow to the left of the dot to show that everything to the left of the dot is included in the less than or equal to portion. So guys, that's it for your notes. We'll see you in class tomorrow.